Thank you for watching my video. Welcome to my channel. I am a full-time reseller online. I sell mostly industrial parts. As you can see in the back, I'm in my shop right now here recording. I want to give a few tips and tricks how to get more sales on eBay. If you have an eBay store, are you planning to have one or you have one? What I learned over the years of reselling is um, having store, it's one thing. Listing items on eBay, it's one thing, but it's another to sell them. because And there's a lot of things that go into reselling your items. If you list your items, you continue just list, list. If you never go back to them, you never work on them, they might never even get sold. So in this video, I want to go over a few steps that I do that helps out a lot in my reselling business to get more sales. Instead of paying eBay promotions, which you kind of have to at least a couple percent, because if you don't, then they will suppress all your listings. But if you have a store, this video is for those who already have an inventory or who will have an inventory. It's also good information. Or you can do this yourself is by having a virtual assistant. A lot of resellers have virtual assistants who have a bigger store. Some don't. Some are scared to get one because what if not? they don't have work? Uh, what if you not always have the listings or you can do your items yourself? You can start doing yourself, but once you grow and scale, you want to hire a virtual assistant. And instead of paying eBay all this money for advertising, you can actually do yourself. Even better system. You can have a virtual assistant. My virtual assistant, he lists everything, but at the same time, he goes over my listings. He checks the prices. So for all the items that we list, we have, we put capital letter sale on it. When a person sees sale, why we put sale? Because when we list the item, we look at the market price and we put a little bit less than the market price. If it's a fast selling item, then we put a little bit more. It depends on the sell through rate. But once you put that sale, that means that you checked your item and it's actually the best deal the person can get on the internet. So they will, so you basically stating the fact that your item it's on sale and you will get more sales like that. Another benefit thing to do to put a specific word is you knew how long the listing is there. For example, I have about 13,000 listings. Well, now we're going over every single item in our eBay store. We put in sale every single one that was checked. First, we check for price, most important. For prices, let's say my lister, he, oh, from 100 items that he checks, old listings, about a year or so, 40 of them already your wrong price. 40 of them, which is almost 50%. Not all of them, but it's only by a little bit. And then you're not selling the item. So for my guy, what we do, we go over, he goes over all the listings and he checks them one by one. Once he finished checking all 13,000, that means the, what, every listing must have a sale on it. Once it does, then you know that all, all items are checked. Then you go back from start again and you do the same process. So having a list or at the same time, he could do research. Instead of paying eBay, you actually go look at the item, check the item, why it's not selling, fix the title, fix the price, and boom, the item's going to get sold. It will if it's like a fresh new item. And that's what, and you're already paying, let's say, 3 to 5% promotion. That's, you have to because eBay suppresses your sales, but doesn't guarantee the item will be sold. You know, they just let your sales go, but they technically, your items don't get, all of them are not getting sold. So by this way, you can have specific, you can hire as well. If you need information, how to hire, how I got my virtual assistant, I pay him by by the hour. Uh, I love it. It's the best thing I did. Also, I will be getting more. Uh, we, I'm also, also going to hire just one person just to go through the whole store from front to back every three, four months. I think 13,000. I'm not sure. Maybe even longer. Let's say six months. By the time it's done start over start over and the sales just continue continue just have one person check all your items all of them let's say you have a small store and you want to get more sales what do you do if your items are not selling 
price is the most important thing price if your price is wrong if you're taking the picture and your hand is in there or you see somebody's like that's also not not good if you look at my items every single one we we edit not through the ebay app but we get a specific one that photo shoot and it adds it perfectly way better it's also tax deductible so you're not you're basically writing off on tax all the apps that you use you can use that app it will help you it's not just it's going to be in your mind as well that all your items are clean they're white they're they're in very good condition you will feel proud of your own store as well once you see those items second thing is the title like we talked about fix the title if you have just one item just put something there that will attract the buyer one letter one thing ebay says do not put capital everything that company usually says that promotion advertising say you want to do opposite you will it's just how life works you will see how you're going to start getting more sales just because person looks at the title something attracts him because of one word for we do sale from from after we're done with sale we're gonna make a new one and we're gonna go back and forth and just make new ones while we go the title is very important and the third that we talked about is virtual assistant if you didn't hire if you have a store of three even one thousand items you it comes out about thirty dollars a day even less you can get less you can get more depends how you wanna pay they're not just listing your items they go over your items they give you charts how they go over what they worked on also if you move items instead of going yourself moving from shelf to shelf you literally take your picture you screenshot in the notes where the shelf where the item is gonna go and you save so much time especially if I have to move a lot of things I move around shelving where now we're working on on inventory if your inventory is properly place on shelves and bins you will have more capacity more space because space costs money and it's expensive so and everything that you move from shelf to bin the lister can do all those things he can you literally screenshot everything that's to do with online typing listing research your virtual assistant can do all that you can train somebody pay them from 300 to 600 dollars a month wherever they want you find somebody whoever willing to work you just watched episode one of podcast from the oem guy subscribe comment if you have any questions if you want to get virtual assistant i will link below the website where you can hire somebody um you pay about 60 dollars to sign up on that website not for me but the website and you cancel right away it's a subscription that's how they basically the way you get get in but i had a lot of good positive feedback from others i had friends who asked i they received they hired and they're very satisfied and very happy so i am it will be linked below you can look into it for the future as well because i seen some resellers will hire somebody who knows where and they had mistakes and they messed up their business if you do everything step by step slowly it will work out great thank you for watching and i'll see you on the next one take care